So my name's Jason and this is a video about learning to play the double bass. As I said in my previous video, I can play lots of other instruments to a reasonable standard, but double bass is completely new to me. I've had this now for about a week and a half. And thankfully, looking at lots and lots of tuition videos on YouTube, I've managed to learn a couple of things. So one important thing, uh, if you go back and look at my first video, I was trying to kind of play it like this or, or like this and my arm was really stretched out. So I found, first of all, how to actually hold the double bass and how to get it in position. So arm stretched and vertical, there or thereabouts, and then just pull it towards you and it's sort of resting between your leg and your groin. Yep, I said groin. So that's, that's kind of where it's, where it's resting and it's supposed to balance something like if it falls forward, you push your leg forward, your left leg, your left knee forward to stop it tippling forward and if it falls back then it's, it's just kind of resting against your arm. So uh, that's one thing that I found really, really helpful <laughs> for a start. It's kind of difficult when you're moving from here to what we call thumb position which I might talk about in another film in the future because thumb positions what's making my wrist hurt at the moment, but I'm not doing it quite right. But anyway, so moving from that position to thumb position, which is sort of there, is, is quite a ch challenge as well. So I'm finding that difficult, but, but generally it's a lot, lot better with me having it kind of at arm's length, vertical there-ish, pull it towards me. And now I'm sort of at a 45 degrees angle to, to the base. Yeah, this side of me is anyway. That side's what's nine hundred thirty-five would be that 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 angle there. Okay, so so that's the first thing. Uh, the other thing I was doing a a little video about the guitar, just pointing the guitar there, and the stretch on the guitar. On the guitar, that stretch uh, encompasses frets one to five, so you can get in one, two, three, four, five, five different notes with that stretch. On a double bass certainly down the bottom of the neck, you've only got, it's only three. So, you, yeah, you can't, that, that, that's a full tone on, on the double bass, so that's a stretch. And this is the half position, where that's, obviously that's, that's an E, and that's an F. I'm really not praying it properly today at all, but like I say, my wrist hurts. The other thing, um, that I learned, another quick tip, is to keep my fingers some sort of curve in it. Now I think it's probably getting my elbow round to a certain degree because I, I, I'm finding if I'm going like that too much, I mean you can see, like that, to play the bass, I'm, I'm getting this pain in my wrist. Now if there's any bass players out there watching this that can tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'd, I'd be really appreciative of that. So um, it's trying to get the bass, my arm relaxed on the bass. So the weight is coming from the weight of my arm rather than from my, my wrist kind of flexing and, and the muscles working. So I'm using the weight of my arm rather than using the strength of my wrist. But my wrist could be hurting from another couple of things. I was boxing over the weekend and, and I think punching hurt my wrist. And I was riding my motorbike as well. And I think that put quite a bit of pressure on my wrist. So between the three things, I've really um, kind of put myself back in terms of my practice. So anyway, so a little few scales. So obviously if that's that's F sharp, that's G. So G is a really easy scale. Okay, so that's pretty easy. F is reasonably easy as well. Like, let's see if I can do it without getting it wrong. Okay, so I'm not getting the, the E to F there very well. So that's another one that's quite easy. Um, e is kind of okay, but you have to switch positions from the first position to the half position. So, so yeah, I'm kind of, kind of getting there with all the different scales and stuff. A 
was eight, by the way. So, yeah, I mean, I think the other thing that I've noticed that people say online a lot is to use the bow, um, which I'm finding really, really difficult. It sounds like um, a primary school kid learning to play the violin. I'll show you, but even, even holding the bow I'm finding difficult at the moment. It's apparently it says don't do that. Um, but I'm not going to do any, any lessons about the bow because I'm, I'm a complete beginner when it comes to these things. Um, so yeah, my little third finger goes on the metal bit, I know that. And my thumb goes at the joint between the frog, which is what this is called, and the bow itself. And the little finger is supposed to go flat on the, on the frog at the back there. But it's not easy. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really hard to play because certainly I'm finding that all the weight is, is pulling it down that way. So, but anyway, it sounds horrific, just so you know. But this is about having a marker, isn't it? About how bad it is to begin with and then hopefully improving later on. So, let's try F. Oh. Yeah, I need to practice that, don't I? Um, it probably needs some rosin on. I've got some rosin on, but maybe it needs some more. I didn't really want to. There we go, it's a bit better. Sounds pretty good actually, that was a bit better, but I don't practice with that much, but the idea of practicing with a bow is to get your intonation right, so it's more in tune. Um, because you can't tell so much when you're doing the pizzicato stuff. Whereas when using the bow you can really tell whether something's in tune or not. So that's it for, for this lesson, for this um, update. Uh, I'm going to try again in a week's time, hopefully my wrist's better, I'm going to be able to show you some of the... Some of the um, the um, thumb position, which is doing my head in at the moment. I mean, what sort of an instrument needs you to put your thumb on it like that? I mean, seriously. Anyway, take care. See you next time.